Okay, I'm gonna to talk to you about moles and Avogadro. First of all, I love this joke. What do chemists use to make guacamole? Avogadros. Because <laughs> of course you need avocados. Oh, okay, so let's talk about moles and Avogadro first of all. Uh, what is a mole? A mole is the amount of a substance. So, I mean, in chemistry, it becomes important to count different amounts, and this is what we use in chemistry. Uh, but of course, in physics, we uh, steal from chemists all the time. So there we go. Um, the equation we're going to need for this is in your data booklet, it goes N equals capital N over N with a little a. This is the equation you need. Luckily, you don't have to memorize it. It's there for you in your data booklet. So what this really means, the N is the number of moles. This is the important thing to be counting. You're trying to count these things. Um, capital N is the number of atoms you have. And Na, this N with a little subscript A, that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23, which is known as Avogadro's constant. That's the amount of uh, atoms in one mole of a material. So hopefully it makes sense then that uh, there's this many atoms in one mole. If you have two moles, you must have double the number of atoms. You know? So uh, if you have like two Na over Na, then you'll get N equals two. So basically this Na tells you the number of atoms in one mole. This tells you how many moles you have. Uh, I hope that'll make some sense. What I'll do is I'll show you an example, uh, one that showed up on an exam that doesn't seem quite so simple, and that's why I want to give you this here. So we have an, uh, an example here where you have um, eight grams of helium gas, uh, and helium has a mass number of four. You might remember that from uh, atomic physics. Remember helium, helium is, uh, let's see, let's write it like this, He, which is two, four. It's got four, um, nucleons we say which, uh, and we know it has two protons so we know it has uh, two protons and then two neutrons in any case it's got a mass number of four and it's sitting there at a temperature of 20 degrees celsius it's at a pressure of it's a bit awkward how i typed it out let's put a maybe a comma there all right it's a little bit nicer to see so it's a hundred thousand pascals what's the volume of the gas now of course we can use the ideal gas equation Remember that one, PV equals NRT. You can look that one up if you need to. And from that, then we could get the volume pretty easily, right? V then equals, let's see, it's NRT, and I would just divide by P. Awesome, okay. Here's the problem though, I don't know N. You see that I know everything else, I need to know N. So this is my issue, is what, what is N? I'm not told how many moles I have. So that's why I've got a little trick for you. There's a trick that really helps to know. I've seen this show up a few times on exams. It's a nice trick to know. If you have an element of mass number A, in this case four, then it's gonna have a molar mass of A grams. What that means is that one mole of that material will be four grams. So what you can do then, you can use this idea, because what I'll maybe do on the side, I'll say fine, that means N equals, let's see, we have eight grams of the material and we know that it normally, how's this? One mole of this material is gonna be four grams. So I know that I'm actually sitting there with eight grams, right? Uh, let me just maybe make my mole a little bit nicer to look at because I just hate how I wrote it. See that, there we go. One mole equals four grams. So if I know that one mole of this gas of helium uh, weighs four grams, I shouldn't say weigh, has a mass of four grams, um, the fact that I have eight should tell me how many moles I have. And I hope this makes sense that then I get N equals two. You see that I have N equals two moles. So again, just to make sure this makes sense, because of this trick, it tells you that um, this mass number of four tells you that one mole of helium is gonna have a mass of four grams. That's the definition, right? A molar mass, that means a mass of one mole. So because four, uh, because helium has a mass number of four, it's got a molar mass of four grams. That means one mole is four grams. I've got eight, gra uh, eight grams of it. Eight is double four. So that's how I know I have two moles, if that makes any sense. I've got double the amount of the molar mass. So now I know that N equals two, and from there I can then plug in and say, okay, let's actually put it all in. So then V equals N, which now I know is two, times R, and I can look that up, it's 8.31, I just gotta look it up here, what is it, 8.314, yeah. We have the temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius, but what we need to do is put it in Kelvin. We always need the Kelvin temperature for this. So in this case here, we'll say 20 plus 
273 because that's uh, zero degrees uh, Celsius is 273 Kelvin. So because I'd have to put that in there and then divide that by the pressure, which is 100,000 Pascals, or I could say it's 10 to the five. So I put all that into my calculator and let's try that out. So we'll do uh, 8.314 times two times 293. Get that, I divide that by 1,000, and I end up with a volume of 0 0.04938, something like that. Let's look at how many decimals I should use. I should use two. So I could say the volume is, say 4.9, let's say, times 10 to the negative two meters cubed. Right, so that's my answer for my volume. Now, how many atoms of helium are there? Luckily, that's really easy now, uh, because we can just use this uh, equation that N equals capital N over Na. The number of moles equals the number of atoms divided by Avogadro's number. In this case, I want to solve for N. That's the number of atoms. Remember that from before? N is the number of atoms, this one right here. So because of that, I just get N equals little n, the number of moles, times Avogadro's number. So the number of moles, remember we found was two, so I put in two there. And I get Avogadro's number was 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And I end up with a grand total of, oh, that's a big number, isn't it? This will be a 1.2, I'm only allowed two digits, right? So it'll end up being 1.2, because the other decimals won't matter, times 10 to the 20, in this case four, because it two times six is 12, so that adds one more. So 1.2 times 10 to the 24 atoms, which is lots, but it should make sense that uh, one mole, I mean, it's got more than one mole. Uh, so there you go. That's how you can use uh, a kind of sneaky one, right? The sneaky part was knowing this trick here, that the mass, um, mass number A has a molar mass of eight grams.